The Ordnance ML 3-inch mortar was the United Kingdom standard mortar used by the British Army from the early 1930s to the late 1960s, superseding the Stokes mortar. Although called the 3-inch mortar by the British Army, its caliber was actually 3.209 in, 81.5 mm. Design The ML 3-inch mortar is a conventional Stokes-type mortar which is muzzle-loaded and drop-fired. History Based on their experience in World War I, the British infantry sought some sort of artillery for close support. The initial plan was for special batteries of artillery, but the cost was prohibitive and the mortar was accepted instead. The Mark II mortar, Mark I was the Stokes, was adopted by the British Army in the early 1930s, and this was the standard British mortar when World War II broke out in September 1939. Experience in the early part of the war showed that although the Mark II was reliable and sturdy it did not have sufficient range compared to the German 81mm S.GW.34 mortar. A series of experiments and trials using new propellants improved the range from 1,600 yards to 2,800 yards by about 1942, and by 1943 the barrel, baseplate and sights had also been improved. The Mark II remained in service until replaced by the L1681mm mortar in 1965. Users United Kingdom Australia Canada Egypt India Ireland Jordan Luxembourg New Zealand Philippines Poland South Yemen Pakistan Tibet Iraq. Italy, 1944-1946. Type Mortar. Place of Origin United Kingdom. Service History. Used by Sea Users. Wars Second World War. Korean War. Production History. Designed 1930s. Specifications. Weight. Base Plate Slash Sight, 37 pounds. 17 kilograms barrel slash spares 34 pounds 15 kilograms bipod 44.5 pounds 20.2 kilograms total 115.5 pounds 52.4 kilograms length 4 feet 3 in 1.3 m barrel length 3 feet 11 in 1.19 m shell bomb 10 pounds 4.5 kilograms caliber 3.2 in 81 millimeters elevation plus 45 degree to plus 80 degree traverse 11 degrees muzzle velocity 650 feet slash s 200 m slash s maximum firing range mk.2 1600 yd 1500 m mk.2 lr 2800 yd 2600M. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.